Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal and uh, today's a video with a slight difference because uh, today is a very, very big day for a penguin, for an operating system and for computing at large. It is the 30th anniversary of Linux and that's a massive, massive deal. So um, in general, I try not to be one of those people that talk constantly about Linux. Um, I did actually start this YouTube channel talking about Linux, showing little screen tutorials I could do on uh, the internet using Linux. And about a year and a half since I kicked this channel off, I've really started getting into it and I've done it the whole way on Linux. So I firstly want to let anyone who cares know that Linux is 30, 30 years old because that's a big deal. And with that being said, time to put up my, uh, my Tux Turns 30 sticker. If you want one of these for yourselves, you can download them, put them on your website, linuxfoundation.org forward slash Linux 30th. So I'll put the URL up there in a second. Uh, but really, Linux is amazing. And I wanted to take the chance, as I said, firstly, to let people know Linux is 30, guys. And that is, that, that's crazy. I'm older than Linux, I'm 32. Um, but it just feels like it's been around for so much longer than that. And Linux has just done so much for technology. But for those of us who just take from this operating system without really sort of intending to be necessarily digital freeloaders, I just feel like we owe it so much. I personally owe Linux so much for um, getting me interested in technology and more than 10 years later of using Linux every day. I haven't used Windows or any other operating system on a day-to-day -day basis for more than 10 years. It's probably more like 14 years. And there have been moments where I've occasionally thought about giving up on Linux. There have been frustrating moments, but by and large, Linux works. And I'm recording this video on OBS Studio on Ubuntu Linux, and it's got all the features that Windows and Mac have to the best of my knowledge. I can edit videos in Caden Live. I can do my work. I can do, I, I'm not a gamer, but I can get on the internet. I can do everything using Linux. And there have been much, much more positives than negatives over the course of the time I've been using it. So genuinely, I mean this as a, a heartfelt appreciation for Linux and that's the spirit in which I'm putting this out. Now I wanted to do a quick three myths about Linux to just try to do something constructive for this day and in honor of this day and just to break down some things. Now, I really wanted to put this video out onto LinkedIn because I think if there's anybody who's more skeptical of Linux, sometimes it's corporate users and that's why I want to start with myth number one, that you can use Linux for work. Now, the year of the Linux desktop has been talked about for many, many years, and it's sort of a running, running joke in the Linux community at this point. Nevertheless, the quality of the Linux desktop has advanced tremendously over the course of the last even 10 years I've been using it. It's just gotten easier and easier. Nowadays, if you have a need to access services in Windows, we have virtual machines that are really, really easy to use. There are different uh, programs for running virtual machines and um, you can run Ubuntu Linux full time and just delve into Windows when you need it to. There's also a big advantage to knowing Linux and that's that if you know Linux on the desktop, to know Linux on the server is an awful lot easier. Now there are differences between the two, uh, but if you're you know, running a tech company and a tech environment, I work for a number of companies that were actually Ubuntu centric and Ubuntu is a distro I've used for most of my Linux using career. I know that the hardcore uh, Arch and Gen 2 users uh, will consider that easy, but I've personally had a great time using Ubuntu. Uh, for, for anyone who wants the rest of the details, I use LXTE on Ubuntu. I got into using it for light hardware and just kind of never looked back. Um, so yeah, Ubuntu, you can totally use Linux in professional environments and I encourage any forward thinking technology companies to allow their workers to use Linux at work. Um, I've been very grateful to always have worked for companies. Now I, are, now I work for myself, uh, but I've never had an office job where I was forced to use Windows and I can't tell you how much that meant to me. Honestly, I pre really appreciated it. So that's number one, you can't use Linux at work. Yes, you can not use Linux at work. Hundreds of thousands of people do it every day. We have great tools. We have tools for using other operating systems. It can work, guys. Even video editing can be done to an extent in Linux. We, we, we might not have Premiere Pro yet, but we have other things. Um, all Linux users, myth two, all Linux users are developers. I work in marketing. I'm a marketing 
communications consultant, spent a lot of my career to date writing and doing tech writing, but I'm not a techie, I don't develop, I don't code. So when people think about your kind of stereotypical Linux user, that all Linux users are these kind of really, really um, yeah, geeky people, sort of dislikable people, um, and they're all like devs, uh, none of these things are true. Linux users are, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not geeky, for sure I'm geeky, but uh, Linux users are not a monolithic user group and you can find people of all careers, path, architects, writers, marketers, salespeople, developers, all using Linux. It's pretty cool. Um, all Linux, final, final myth is actually this. This is what I want to just get off my chest. All Linux users are computer geniuses. I do not consider myself anywhere near a computer genius. And I do go on to documentation on the internet for Linux and help resources and I'm absolutely blown away by the knowledge of some people in the Linux ecosystem. So yes, there are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly smart people using Linux, but you do not need to be a computer genius to use Linux, otherwise there's no way I could be using it. You don't even need to know that much is the honest truth. If you go for a simple distro like something like Ubuntu and you stick with uh, GUIs, graphical user interfaces, instead of CLIs, which are command line tools, honestly, I think there's a great argument that Linux can be more stable than Windows and actually easier to use than Windows. Believe it or not, there are tons of stories online of grandparents uh, who have been introduced to Linux unwittingly by their grandchildren because one of the beautiful things about Linux is that it, it's really, really efficient in terms of how it uses hardware. So lots of stories of um, old hardware that couldn't run Windows being almost miraculously uh, revived by Linux. And I've seen this happen firsthand and it's, it's actually beautiful. You can use old hardware and Linux is so forgiving. I'm using day to day to day a Linux desktop and guess what's inside? You might think, you, you might think, you know, look at the, the RGB lighting going on, the, the transitions. I don't have anything fancy whatsoever. I have an i3. An i3, like 16 gigs of RAM, it's not high-end hardware at all, and it's gotten me through five years of intense daily computer use. And that's, again, pretty pretty amazing. By the way, I'm being, I'm being sarcastic about the RG, RGB light. That's it. This is the first time I'm trying it. Um, so yeah, that's what I have to say about Ubuntu Linux uh, in sort of honor and commemoration of its um, anniversary. It's a brilliant day for the community. Linux has done amazing things. Uh, there's an amazing Linux ecosystem, ecosystems, people interested in different facets of Linux, both here in Israel actually also and around the world. And uh, Linux is brilliant. So let me just quickly, uh, before I wrap this up, uh, give a quick tour of uh, if you want to find out more about Linux or just sort of join in the general uh, celebratory atmosphere, you can go to linuxfoundation.org forward slash Linux 30th and it says, join us in celebrating 30 years of Linux. Celebrate on social media. You can get yourself this lovely uh, Tux Turns 30th sticker um, as well as this one. Uh, and you have some cool facts about Linux that 100%, this is actually a really interesting, 100% of the world's top 500 supercomputers run on Linux, super cool. Trusted by NASA and J JPL to run a helicopter on Mars. Also super cool. There's way more Linux that you're probably using than you're aware of. Android for one is a fork of Linux and Linux is embedded in all sorts of computing technology and operating systems. Linux is amazing. I'm very proud to be a Linux user. I have no intention whatsoever of going back to Windows despite the occasional bug and Linux is great. So if you wanna get more info about Linux, um, I've made lots of videos to date on this channel about uh, Linux and various aspects of Linux and I hope to be making more as I take on new tech challenges and figure out a way to make them work within the Linux environment. Thank you very much for watching and if you'd like to get more videos from me, feel free to hit on that subscribe button.